we're going to go through this video and you are going to ignore this breakout on my side of the face over here. I think that I pissed off someone probably at work, 90% sure at work. And they hit me and my family with a slew of generational curses. But because I have like an astral shield made of tea spilling and sass protecting me, it just resulted in this as opposed to, you know, death and destruction and dishonor upon me, my family and my cow. Hello beautiful people. Hi, my name is Mia and I'm desperately trying to change my background, but if this ain't the most shoddy setup of life, then I don't know what is. Like, l let me show you where I put my camera. Like, box one, box two, box three, then a chair. So yeah, basically I'm trying to be a fancy beauty guru with a fancy background. But yeah, bear with me a second. I don't know how long this background will last, but you know what, we're not here to talk about the background. We were here to talk about new releases. And I'm like two days late with this video, but I have a life, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. Oh, uh, there's been a lot of advertising for Valentine's Day bullshit, which I'm not going to cover in its entirety. I'm going to cover more so the very concrete releases that uh, have come out. And there's not that many of them, to be honest. There's maybe um, 17 or 16 new releases, which usually there's like 30 every week, or there were 30 every week at least in the winter of 2018 up until December. So I feel that these brands are trying to at least take a break for spring, but I am curious how many more sales and other bullshit is gonna show up on the internet when we get even closer to Valentine's Day. This collection that I'm going to roast, um, sorry, talk about, is the Too Faced uh, Pretty Mess collection, which honestly, is just a mess. Like, I don't see the pretty in it. It's just a misarranged, misaligned, awfully named mess. So you've got this palette that just it gives me anxiety. These swatches for it look like trash. Like what the fuck is up with those mats? Like th those mats should not perform like drugstore mats for Too Faced prices. Nah. Got these different lip kits with the wildest fucking names you could imagine and I don't mind sexual names that much but these are just like, if the name of your product could be a legit category in Pornhub, I don't think you should name that product that way. So one of the dick, uh, Jesus Christ, one of the lip kits is called Dick Sucking Lips, which, um, get that being so open with sexual terms and the such for some feels empowering but to me at least with this collection coming from Too Faced which last year were like mermaids, rainbows, unicorns, puppy dogs and kittens going from puppy dogs and kittens to blowjobs is it's given me a bit of a whiplash and it feels like a cheap ploy just because it's in collaboration with this person who I don't know and I don't care about. I'm just gonna talk about the makeup to be honest. I get that maybe that's her shtick, that's her brand, uh, but it's just it just feels very out of place compared to their past releases. Oh, oh, and there, wait, 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 I'm not even done. There's like an all over body glow powder, which are we not done with those yet? Just even if you want an all over the body powder, glow powder, you don't need it. You have highlighters already. Grab whatever highlighter you have in your collection. The fluffiest brush you can find, put it all over your body. There you go. You are a glorious, sparkling fairy and nobody can stop you. You don't need a separate product for that. And to me, it's like the audacity of these brands to try and make us think that you need a separate product for the body because... 
why aren't the face highlighters enough for the body to do? They're multifunctional. It's it's a ploy for your money. But okay, never mind, never mind. Brands be wilding as they always do. But the name of this thing, it's called Pass the Puss. And if that's not the most mood killing phrase I have ever heard in my life. Like hearing the phrase pass the puss is making me want to go commit myself into a nunnery. Never have I ever felt the need during sex to say to anyone I have not even used the phrase when ironically talking about petting my actual cats. It's 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 so cringy. It's 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 like that edgy type of cringe. Like they're trying way too fucking hard. Anyway, these and a regular highlighter are all coming out on February 12th and I'm not gonna buy. Kathleen Lights is coming with her 100th Colourpop collab and this is for Zodiac themed pigments. There are 12 of these pigments, each one for the uh, Zodiac signs, the Western Zodiac signs. And you know the colors I think are pretty, but I don't feel that they are special enough to warrant a tub full of pigment, including all of the trouble that comes with working with pigments. Pigments are much harder to work with than pressed shadow. They need a special base, you need to handle them with care, there's going to be fallout. And I don't feel that these colors are special enough to warrant all of that trouble. Another thing is that I feel that they don't perform that good to warrant the just uh, the overall trouble you're going to go through and let me explain why she swatches these plain and then she swatches them over a glitter base or with fix plus something like this and to me the fix plus version doesn't look much different than a lot of depressed shimmers that ColourPop does and I'm like if you can get this quality in a much easier formula to work with why should you bother with a tub full of pigment I maybe because it's your sign on it no lie I'm tempted a bit by the Aquarius one because it says Aquarius on it and I'm and I'm a sucker but they are very affordable though I'll give them that either six dollars each or you can get the whole set for seventy dollars now I want to talk about something. People, every time Kathleen Lights comes with a new collab with Colourpop, people complain about her collabing once again with Colourpop. And I honestly don't get why they keep complaining. Products she comes out with with Colourpop are always good. They're never bad quality. At most, they're mediocre, but usually they're pretty good. She trusts the brand. She doesn't just shill them, she's criticized them in the past. I don't see anything wrong with repeatedly collabing with a brand that you trust and that gives out affordable products for your fans and your subscribers. I don't see any issues with it. Aside from the repetitiveness of it, okay, fine, but if you're bored, nobody's forcing you to buy. Nobody's forcing you to buy even if you're a fan of Kathleen Lights and want to support her. Like, there are so many different ways to support her. But I don't find that it's just that it's productive to complain that she's collabing with the same brand because like what what do you go what do you guys want? It's consistent quality, it's consistent brand relationship, so she's no Jacqueline Hill shilling things left and right. She seemed ge seems genuinely pleased to work with the brand. Her su subscribers lap it up. Like, I really don't see any downside aside from, you know, sort of seeing Kathleen Lights collabing with Colourpop. And I don't think that's a good enough reason to k criticize this whole affair between the two. Next up, Violet Voss is coming out with a mini Holy Grail palette, which I feel is coming out too late. It's very pretty, very pretty colors. Those are my shades. I love the color scheme. The problem is that this color scheme was very much in fashion last year and even two or three years before that and it's been done ad nauseum and Violet Voss should try to come out with newer things, maybe newer palettes of this format rather than minis of palettes that are a bit past their glory days. I'm not gonna lie, this is nice, this is $18, so if this is your color scheme, if you have the $18 to spare, if this has a place in your collection, if you want to try Violet Boss, if, 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 I don't see um, a particularly valid reason to anti-haul this aside from 
This was supposed to come out years ago. The balm is coming out with two palettes, two tea inspired palettes, and I already love the theme. So there's a uh, hot tea and iced tea, I believe. And they've done swatches on various bases. And that, and that is because they have a um, neutral Caucasian flesh tone shade and then a um, black shade and those are like a primer formula a cream base of sorts i believe and i think this is a really interesting idea but this this is going to mess get messy so quick because they do not have like a protective layer over that over that primer one and two what the fuck are you gonna do when you run out of those you're going to need to buy separate bases the idea that you can use shadows over, over different bases is absolutely nothing new and I feel that the balm is trying to reinvent the wheel. Maybe this would be a good starter's kit, I don't know. Maybe someone who hasn't thought of using different shades over different bases. Like I see the applicability of such a release but I don't feel that this is anything new or outstanding or groundbreaking in any way and I'm particularly bothered by the fact that those things aren't protected like the cream part maybe they are and I don't see them in this promo picture because usually the balm is pretty good at keeping their creams separate from their product so I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt for now these retail for $36 and they are already available at thebalm.com uh, Melt Cosmetics is coming out with their Better Than Roses collection, which features two highlighters and three liquid lipsticks. I think this is a beautiful release. Those highlighters will work absolutely beautiful as intended as highlighters on darker skin tones. And on lighter skin tones, they will look like beautiful, luminous blushes. However, keep in mind that if you have a lighter skin tone and you use these as blush, you will see more texture due to the nature of the product so if you've got textured skin or if you're bothered by any type of texture showing up i honestly wouldn't pick this up if you're lighter skinned but for a darker skin tone these as a blush my god beautiful they've also got some liquid lipsticks there's this hot pink this muted coral and then a very dark berry and i really like these colors if i were into liquid lipsticks at all possibly i would consider them but alas my dry ass just cannot handle liquid lipsticks so I will pass. I am still in the search for the perfect dark berry bullet lipstick that doesn't uh, smear or come on patchy or just generally has poor performance and I don't know if I will ever find it. MAC is coming out with their spring collection. They've got a sweet sakura lipstick which is a pretty mm, reddish pink sort of tone there's there's the floor real highlighting powder there's an eyeshadow palette with tones of browns pinks and mauves glosses and a special edition of fix plus what i'm interested from this collection is the um, highlighting powder and that's just because i'm a sucker for embossing and it looks like a very very beautiful pinky tone maybe something even a little a little bit hollow i'm not entirely sure but i really do dig it the eyeshadow palette i feel isn't anything that we've seen before and the special edition of fix plus you know what i'm just gonna decant it anyway so there's no point in me buying it i really dislike the original fix plus packaging i don't like the sprayer i decanted my fix plus into a nyx bottle so there is really no reason for me to buy it just for the cute bottle, you know? This collection is coming out in March. There's no date set yet, but uh, hopefully soon because I really want to give them my money. Another thing, they're coming out with three different palettes. So their, their names are the Flamboyant Palette, which is Warm Berries. Boring. I like the color scheme because this is my colors, but objectively boring. We've got Nude Model, which is nudes, already have them 10 times over, pass. Then we've got the It's Designer one, which is new neons and strong colors, and I see a duochrome in there, and that really appeals to me. I honestly hope that they will come to Romania, because I really do want to get this It's Designer palette. I 
instantly feel inspired when I look at it and I have been meaning to try Max Formula but for a while but honestly never, nothing really attracted me to them enough to be like yeah you know I'm, I'm gonna spend Mac money on you guys there is no price point yet and it says that they're coming soon so I don't know when these will come out now for some drama Jeffree Star came out with his Morphe collab which is brushes and why do why do those brushes look so familiar oh this is why and what is this this is part of a seven dollar aliexpress brush set that i have bought a couple of years ago it's kind of fishy to me that jeffree star's morphe collab has the exact same handle as these but in pink I would have at least expected them to come out with something more original because, well, it, 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 it's, it's Jeffree Star. We all know how he is. And I should have formulized quality. My lipsticks are the best. I yell at my fans on Twitter and I'm still innocent. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Aside from, you know, the obvious issues with Jeffree Star that we all know and I shouldn't have to repeat them. But honestly, it's like, it's a cash grab. Like, the least you could do is come out with a different brush handle than some you can easily outsource and just dye another color. I swear to you, AliExpress is filled with these exact same brushes with different handle colors, even like ombre, whatever. So to me, this is obviously a cash grab for Jeffree's um, fans and minions. Morphe's gonna Morphe, we all know how shady Morphe is, like obviously I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy and give them my money, I, I'd just rather get another set of AliExpress brushes, because they don't come with the problematicness behind it all. I've seen Twitter, people on Twitter be like, well at least they're cruelty free, if you care about animals then you should get these brushes, and I'm like, Wait, 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 um, so basically you're telling me I'm okay with racism and aggressive behavior and a problematic past, but cruelty towards animals is where I draw the line. How can you all be like this with a straight face? How? How can you be like, oh, I don't care about the people that he hurt with his behavior and his problematic racist past or like racial slurs or other silly things like that like I care about the animals really you're gonna you you, you seriously really Lancome is coming out with a new foundation this is the taint idol nude wear and this has a really nice shade range, there's 40 shades, there's a great gradient of shades, this seems to be exactly up my alley, sheer coverage, buildable, luminous, bougie, because I like my foundations bougie, not, not gonna lie. If I see this in my Sephora and there's a color match, I'll probably just um, add, add it to my wish list for the future, I'm trying to go through some of my foundations. I have three at the moment and I'd like to get down to... Um, two or even like one and a half and then try out some new stuff because i do want to try out this one i want to try out the clinique better glow i think that's what it's called or the healthy glow i don't know something like that i have it written down but i i don't want to buy more foundations than i can realistically use until they expire and then have them go bad in my collection because that's that's just that's just a waste and then i'll feel guilty and i'll feel bad and I don't like feeling guilty over makeup, to be honest. Huda Beauty is coming out with a new set of her dual ended liquid eyeshadows. Those retail for $25 and they seem to be like fruity sort of colors. These are very beautiful colors. I'm not gonna buy it because it's from Huda and I don't actively support her. And there hasn't yet been a release that would make me, me go like, yeah, okay, I don't like her as a person or her policies, but fine. It's like I feel that there's like levels to canceling. At the top, we have Jeffree Star who said the N-word on the street and he, who is super aggressive with some of his fans online and who just has a history of being um, a messy, dramatic person and he's like top level canceled where I will never buy from him. Then 
below that we have brands like lime crime where they've been problematic in the past but they kind of removed the problematic personas though they're still in the company it's clear that the company wants to do better than that so you're like kind of okay maybe if then there's people like huda which there's like no concrete evidence against them and they do have the benefit of the doubt because you know she said that she doesn't post a lot of boys in beauty because of the country she lives in which is dubai and being gay is uh, sort of illegal there because shitty human rights whatever so you you kind of have like you had kind of have top cancelled medium cancelled bottom cancelled and then like very low tier cancelled which is like manu mua who is just He's just a snake. He's just a shitty person. You know? He's he's but he's not like that shitty to be compared with actual fucking tweeting. No, they weren't my tweets. I retweeted them. Let me fake cry. Racist. I hope I'm making sense. ColourPop came out with colored mascaras and these look really interesting. If these were more readily available to me, if I lived in the US, I would have tried them out. I would have happily made them my holy grail if you know their holy grail status but the issue is the following if i try this mascara out and i like it then i can't easily get it i'll have to wait one month for shipping and i'll have to pay shipping fees and so on and so forth and it's not worth it to me for a product that's gonna expire in three months and then i'm gonna rebuy so i'm just gonna stick with mascaras that i can get locally but I do find this nice that they've got a black, they've got several colors, you get to play and experiment and I feel that you can also double them up as liners in a pinch if you really want. A really nice and interesting release coming from them. Makeup Geek is coming out with palettes that are 20-ish dollars each I believe. There's Champagne Rosé and Peach Bellini and these are so 2016. Don't get me wrong, my basic ass loves them because as I said earlier in the video, these are my tones. I, I like this color scheme. Makeup Geek is slowly dying and it's their fault because they do not come out with anything ever interesting. I have not seen an interesting release from them in a while and it's all good and nice to release neutrals, to release berries, to release staple sort of items but if that's all you release there is not going to be any buzz about you at all and it's not because you're not sending pr to influencers and it's not because you're not paying them six thousand dollars for a review it's because you're not giving people a reason to talk about you berries and neutrals are a dime a dozen in today's makeup world and they are easily accessible. They're easily accessible at Sephora, at Ulta, at Superdrug, at the drugstore, whenever. You can be in the smallest country ever. You will find a neutrals or a berry palette at the drugstore. Makeup Geek needs to come out with something better to stay relevant, not just the same old, same old, because th th this brand is gonna die off at this rate. Etude House. It's coming out with $16 each Kit Kat palette. And these colors are basic as shit. I don't even like the color scheme on the side, but my fat ass wants these because they're Kit Kats. And I want these and I'm not gonna get them. And shame on you, Attitude House, for preying on my gluttony. Anastasia Beverly Hills is coming out with a new collection. You've got two quads, the um, Sunset and Sunrise quad, I believe. Oh, it's the Daytime and Sunset quads. These retail for $32. You've got some glosses to go with each and a liquid lipstick. And I think this collection is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, curated on... It, it relates to the theme. You, the Sunset quad has blues and browns. Then the daytime quad has oranges and yellows and pinks. It's honestly really beautifully curated. And I like the color scheme. And you know, if I had $32 to spare, you know, may maybe I would pick up one of these quads. But as is, I, I would rather get more stuff for $32 than just a quad. Call me cheap. But... I'll probably just dupe this out with singles that I have in my collection. I'll dupe the vibe, not so much the colors themselves, and be happy with it. But I do find that this is a beautiful collection. I'm not, I'm not gonna be entirely hater, a hater about it. And the last release that I want to talk about is this Kaoir Kaor. 
I don't know how you pronounce it. So I, uh, I don't know who this person is. She seems to be a celebrity. Um, she's very beautiful. So this is a $59 palette, which is um, expensive, first of all. Second of all, it's, it's just got a shitty fucking shape. That it's going to be a nightmare to store unless you want to use it as a decoration. So if your name is, I don't know, Kendall, Keisha, Chloe spelled with a K, uh, whatever other names start with K, then you will love this because you can like use it as a decoration or something on your vanity. But as is, the shape is very clunky and it does have a mirror, but how practical is that mirror really? However, what I do like is the color scheme. It's neutrals, but not quite. It's got just that row of neutrals. Then you've got dark, bumpy blacks and dark browns and dark berries. And then those strong, beautiful reds. So this is an absolutely lovely color scheme in a shitty packaging. Hey okay, guys, these were all of the releases for this week. Please let me know what do you think of all of this new stuff. What are you gonna pick up? What do you hate? Gossip with me. You know, I'm, I'm a drama whore. Like, I'm just gonna mind my own business and sip my tea and watch the whole world burn around me while my life is nice and calm and drama free. And that's the best way to enjoy drama. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you the next time. Bye.